Uh, this would benefit from having an actual sealed flue, which I will get round to doing. I'm thinking about redesigning the bottom of this because I'm no longer happy with it. Uh, I'm thinking about keeping the air vent running up the side of the inside of the door, but also bringing the air in and down again as um, there's a little bit of a leak, which I don't like. Other than that, it's working. The soot was from me messing around a minute ago. Let's see if we can get, a, get you in on the flame. No, you can't really do that. So this is working, but it's not perfect. And I've got the pump working now as well. With the switch, I had to put a few um, layers of gasket paper in between. That leak is annoying. Uh, I haven't got my thermometer in here. Like that. Whoa, God, flip now. Um, yeah, that's definitely really warm. I've had this running now for, I don't know, an hour and a half. Still a small amount of soot forming at the top of the glass. But the heat exchanger is actually really good. Uh, even with only it down low. The heat exchanger is well over 100 degrees C and is really throwing out some heat. So, what I intend to do, guys, is um, I'm going to modify this burner a little bit. It's only the bottom of it that needs modifying. I want to change the way the air is coming in also possibly deepen the sort of depth below the glass so as I've got a little bit more room a little bit more room for error on the oil level as right now it's very finicky especially once the oil begins to boil inside the burn chamber uh, then it starts to overfuel so it's awkward uh, Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Well, the colour of the upper chamber is suggesting this is getting really hot now. And I think also parts of the um, heat exchanger are starting to like blow up. So yeah, definitely getting nice and hot.